What's up, everyone? How we doing? Therapy without a degree. Chapter, I believe this is chapter 207. Chapter fucking 207. All right, we here. Three Zane's intro music. Anyone know where this is from? You can't hear it. Nope. Fuck. Fuck. All right, well, we got... We got Zane here virtually. Uh, he's gonna be here somewhere, so I'm gonna I'm gonna plant him in the seat. I'm gonna Photoshop him. I'm gonna take out his background, remove his background, put him here. We'll see if they notice. That'd be funny. What's going on, man? Why you not here, bro? Let's talk. What's up? You good? This little nugget right here. Nah, just because you got a dog, man, that don't mean nothing. It does mean something, especially if you don't listen when he's around other dogs. You'll be all right, bro. You can't, you can't, you can't, you got to get yourself out of the house, bro. Can't do yeah, that to man. yourself. So everything's good, man. How's everything? <laughs> oh, damn. How's everything, man? Uh, it's not great, but it is what it is. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie on here. It's not great. Could be better today. Shitty day. But it's all good. Um, We here. We alive. That's, that's I guess, what matters. You right. You know what I'm saying? We alive. So that's a good thing. And we got Christian over here. Yep, <laughs> Christian is here. He's not. He's not in front of the camera today. Uh, All right, he's doing BTS. Yeah, BTS. He brought his camera. Yo, he's with it, man. This shit. This shit looks official. All right, and uh, yeah, man. So we got him in the building. We uh, I think Tay is working. We got Tay, and then uh, yeah. Natalie isn't uh, here on this episode. We're gonna get her on an episode soon. We just have to schedule that, and. Uh, what about you, man? How was your weekend? Today's today's Monday. I feel like I haven't talked to you since we went to uh, we saw Fast Nine. It got yeah, faster. Yeah, Fast Nine was 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 a wild movie. That's a whole other topic within itself. Um, but yeah, I pretty much went from movie on Friday or well, Thursday night. So Friday, I forgot what I did, and then Saturday was a birthday party, and then Sunday I was barbecuing. So oh, what, so you were, you were chefing it up. Yep, I was chefing it up. What you went, mean? It went, I was making um, burgers, which I'll be doing that today. And then um, I made beef ribs, but it didn't. It looked great on Instagram, but then I turned away and I had to go attend to Ace because he peed on the carpet. And then I literally turned for like two seconds, and the whole thing went to chard. I mean, the meat was on the inside, so you just put barbecue sauce all around it. it. So, okay, yeah, that was, was pretty good. We've but all, that, we've all was, had those charred. moments. Yeah, yeah. You leave it, it for fire. two seconds. Like it's not. It, yo, it'd be not even your fault at all. It'd be like yo, those two fucking seconds, bro. That you right. look like yo, you were good. Like you tossed it. You're not sticking, and it's fine. And then you're like, oh. I have time. Yo, we got to make a meme out of that. Like, I have time to go grab a sip of water. And, right. you, and then you go back and Get the shit back, is done. Fired. It was charred. It was meat in the middle, but it was just charred all around. So I was mad as hell because it looked so amazing. And all I needed, it was all I needed was like maybe, I guess, 20 minutes or something. But, yeah, it was definitely beyond charred. Mm. Shout out to Charred Broil Grill. <laughs> they, did, <laughs> they, 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 right. they lived up to their name. They lived they, up to their expectations. They really did. That's hilarious, bro. So uh, it sucks you can't hear it, but we have a new uh, soundboard. So it's pretty lit. It's pretty pretty lit. Where is it coming from? Um, it is a website that I will not disclose on here. <laughs> I will not give them that advertisement right now. You can bleep right now. it out. Yeah. Uh, but it well no, nah, I, I that's too much work. That's too much work right now. <laughs> that's too much work. But um, yeah. So Fast Nine was really really dope. We saw that. I want to give spoilers, but uh, did you see it? You didn't yeah, see it. Dom, Dom Toretto died. It was crazy. <laughs> Dan, yo, Christian can hear you. He saw it. No, he didn't see it. He has the headphones on. Oh. Yeah, he has the headphones on. Yeah, it's crazy. This is the last movie. It's crazy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How do you know? How do you know it's not true? At the end, what at is, the what end, is? they had. He can. He can. What if he dies? No, because <laughs> Obi Wan showed up at the end. Like they had a mid credit scene, and then it was like Han and and Obi Wan, and they were like about to face off. It was crazy. That actually is the next thing that they could do. Like. Not gonna spoil but, it, but like they, I'm just saying, like, n- yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're in space. I, I guess. Oh, you saw that in the trailer. So they gotta save the world again. You know, one last ride. 
That's with not the even DeLorean hot. this time. But it has to be the DeLorean. <laughs> We're going to get a DeLorean, Yo. and it's going to be a wrap. That's it. The night exact bro. What imagine the crossover of the night rider, the DeLorean? It's gonna be like the I don't know, the fast rider. Like that's gonna <laughs> I mean that might be coming up on searches that you don't want, but you just have to put like fast rider Vin Diesel. All right, all right. That, that actually might be true. Yo, if they merge that with Back to the Future, that would be then yo, I feel like then they gotta throw in Ghostbusters in there somewhere. Like they're gonna be fighting and they're gonna be like the Ghostbusters, the fast. But ones. guess what? We're still gonna watch the movie because it's so out there <laughs> that we're still gonna watch them just because we're curious to see Dominic Toretto like uh, like take down some some ghost with mm. the Ghostbusters. Why wouldn't you watch that? It's a movie. Yeah. Does it would... matter? No, I'm gonna watch that, it. That would be awesome. The fact that they took time in the writers' room to make that happen for us, we should be thanking them. Because they already said that they were going to cross over with Transformers. So I'm just waiting. Well, no, because I, I think it's epic how they saw the memes and the comments about, oh, what are they going to go to space next? And they and actually guess what? said, yo, you know what? Someone in the writer's room was said, oh, word, bet. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make it believable. And it was believable because you can't. I mean, granted, they, they went from up. Oh, I'm not going to tell you. Spoilers, man. I'm spoilers. Not spoilers. I mean, they, you saw it in the trailer, so... You saw it in the trailer, at least, that they went to space. Right. I don't know if they really showed how and all the other details, and if they made it out, you know, and all these things, and, you know, but it's a lot, too. When are you going to go see it? Go. It's right there, I mean, bro. what's the worst? What, 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 might as well yeah. just watch it, man, because I'm telling you, the memes are going to be serious, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just telling yeah, you right now, people, people a couple more days till you find out what happened. Because memes about to get so real, and the bootlegs gonna be <laughs> out, and then the memes are gonna be flying. Oh, I'm I'm with you know someone saw the bootleg the same night we went. That's interesting. I'm like, yo, where did you get the bootleg from? They said they, they got it. And they saw it. They knew the whole movie. I was like, wow, impressive. I was like, I need their streaming no time. Guy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we here today. We in the we in the new. This is like a new studio. It's upgraded. All right, we finally got some lights. All right, we still need two more, but we got we got some blue and we got some uh, some pink a- pink action right now. Um, we here. I was thinking about. I wanted to know: Did you see the documentary? Did you hear about what's going on with Britney Spears? Yeah, uh, apparently someone had told me I was at a party, and they were saying like, "Yeah, so she had wrote this thing where she can't." get pregnant again i don't know how she got pregnant again but she has like this you know that little thing they put inside yeah you did and what yeah yeah i yeah they can't take like she's she can't take it out because of the, what was written and everything all that like so she essentially just can't have kids again which is why because she because it's in the contract i'm like so if she gets pregnant then it breaches a contract i don't know what what happens if they breach the if she does one not i guess she would lose all royalties and all this that and the third she'll have no money if she does it but i'm saying to myself like is fame that important that you can allow someone else to control your bio maybe she she'll owe money well not i mean not even really that maybe because this is just speculating because i didn't really watch or anything but like imagine if you know whatever money she gets from her career she probably makes it just enough to survive for the rest of her life it's not even like that what is it what are you she- you watched it? I didn't watch it, but I know enough about okay. it. It's called a conservatorship, right? Yeah. So basically, um, she has no control of any choices that she makes. You have anything, it's right? Done from her dad, and I think somebody else. Yeah, it's, I figured it's more than yeah, it's more so than just the IUD. She doesn't even make her money. Like mm. they control her finances and stuff. They give her like an allowance and yeah, everything. The IUD, I think, is the shit that people are just marketing it yeah, to get people yeah. to know about it. Because well, they market that heavy. That's gonna, what's going to yeah. get her off. Exactly. Yeah. The finances and all the other shit people don't really care about. Exactly. No. Yeah. But it's like she didn't even want to do the, um, when she was in Vegas, what the hell was it called? The uh, award, some show or she did? Yeah, where she's like, when you have a residency in Vegas, mm. so she's like performing weekly yeah. or how many times a week. She didn't even want to do that, but she's forced to do all these things against her will because she can't make the choices herself. That's wild. That's a that's a hell yeah. That's yeah. That's a damn shame, man. That's a damn shame to be 
to be someone's entertainment mm. and then to do X amount of videos and do this. And how long has this been going on? I think a while. I forget. I wonder what caused it. Mental yeah. breakdown. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what's crazy though is like you know people guys do that and we don't go through no fucking contract like that. Yeah, that's just wild. And people change, man. Like you don't get no like time people you know like people to change and people to develop and like okay if she did what she did or whatever she was going through a fucking rough patch because being a celebrity of that magnitude is not fucking easy. <laughs> you know, like she's fucking Britney Spears. You know what I mean? Like people forget that these people can never go and do anything. Like nothing, like nothing that we could do on a daily basis, they could really do. Like 2007 is when she shaved her head, so it's been that long. Hmm. Yeah, it's a long ass fucking time. Mm hmm. And it's crazy because they probably give her just enough money to like the bare minimum. And she should be a fucking million. She's probably, she probably makes fucking millions still. Just off she her royalties would. alone because she had so many fucking hits. You know, if she if she controlled it, she probably would have been a billionaire, to be honest. Only only because of like in sales, not even just tickets on shows, but like any merch that she probably sold. If mm. she went into like the makeup industry, kind of yeah. like Rihanna did, it'd been game over. But mm. she's not in control of any of that. So she just gets like Vegas money. Yo, but you know, what's even crazier, though, like if, if she was able to like do shows and shit and if she wanted to. She would probably be doing really fucking well because now things are like like in that are like the things that were popping in like the 90s are being brought back to life now because it's like, oh, we want to go to a concert. We, you know, when we were kids, we, we maybe couldn't go to a concert. It's like that's why like now like the fucking Friends is coming back, fucking uh, the Backstreet Boys and all this old shit that was like that we as kids people liked is coming back. So it's fucking crazy. She could probably, yo, and, and it, that actually makes me think, as you said about her breaching her contract. Yo, she's so fucking who she is. She could probably breach that contract and make all her money back and again. That's what happened with Little Wayne. Yeah, like some shit like that. Like, she got to have confidence. I mean, it's way easier said than done. I'm just talking about shit. But like, if she had that like super, super confidence, confidence to be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll breach the contract. Fuck all that Wait. shit. But here's the problem. She's been she's been babied since she started the career. She hasn't really had a chance to like swim by herself. Well, she was a baby. scratch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So she imagine having that from the, all those years, and all the resources are from the the same people that's been fucking you over. Mm. Yeah, you know, and it's hard to and at that point it's hard to trust someone with the knowledge to help you out. Yeah. So now you really got to do it by yourself. So I would say, yeah, fuck the contract and breach it and then get your freedom because this is the type of shit that gets people to off themselves, man. Yeah, a thousand percent. Like, so is that is so she's been fighting a, a long battle of just like going against like I'm not in control. But then then what? Mm. You know what I'm saying? People will make a decision to break themselves out. So yeah. it's like if they don't free Britney, we're going to have a problem. Yeah. I'm really curious to watch the doc and just to try to learn more from it. I wonder who produced it or like who actually created it. Like if it was someone that actually fucks with her or if it wasn't. I mean I think it was probably someone who maybe caught wind, maybe a reporter. And then they said, you know, and then they probably was like, Hey, you know, I know this is going on, so we're just gonna do it and then hopefully they'll mm. break you out in mm. terms of like get you out of this shitty ass deal that you're in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because she can't commission them, I bet. It's like, oh, yeah, you can't do anything without her say. So I'm guessing they're just doing it off of just doing a documentary because you don't need permission to do a documentary. But if I said I'm doing a documentary on Britney Spears they, and they're just going to post it, they're going to someone's going to probably pay for it. So I guess all the all the, all the all the clips that they're using, I guess what is right, it? Like, right. You use it as like a fair, like a fair use type of thing. Right. Fair use or you just pay people to give you the footage and whatnot or you just use it because what see documentaries is not a permission based um, type of method of filming. It's I'm going to film this. I'm going to do it like this. I don't need permission. And then you just have to expect to get sued. <laughs> and hope you win. Expect to get sued. No, I'm serious. That's what, yeah, that's no, what happened. Right. happening. 
Like you just so when you do this, you're you're taking the audience into hell and 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 then you give them hope at the end of the documentary. But when you have that documentary, you have you better you better lawyer up hmm. depending on how serious it is, especially if you're going against the government, you just disappear, man. Or you just ended up oh yeah. you you committed suicide with a bullet in your head while you drove yourself off a cliff. Shit like that that makes no sense. Yeah, that's no what ends up happening. It's like so that's why people are the best documentaries are the ones that are like, yo, how is this dude still alive? Yeah, word. It's like, yo, what's going on? Like who who's protecting him? Right. And you have to the lawyer up, get some security, but where are you pulling this money from? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so and these so things are doing... like, and 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 these documentaries now are actually popular too. So I think people know that, like, if they do them and they do it right, they don't even really got to do it too right. They just got to do it, and it's gonna it's gonna get you know friction. Like, if you drop a, a a documentary, a fucking Britney Spears, yo, people are gonna watch that shit. Right, and it, just like the Tiger King, like people saw that the just a little snippet of it, and they say, mm-hmm. like, yo, this dude has a a whole like compound full of, of tigers and this, that, and the third. And then you watch the first episode and it's just like the dude who did it, he's, he's actually well known doing documentaries. So then when he did that project, it was like cakewalk to him. Mm. Cause it's just like, I'm just going to film insanity. People love that stuff. Yeah. I'm not, nobody loves, Oh, I'm going to do a documentary on everything going well. <laughs> nah. No, I want to watch a documentary where, where things go wrong. And how do people recover after? Yeah. Or like the wild shit that we want to learn about in the world that the regular people won't teach us. Right. Like your your show concept, except non-documentary. If it was a documentary, it would be interesting. But as a show, it would be even more interesting. Mm, yeah. Either way, it's getting watched. I'm not saying what it is. I'm just saying yeah. just to give you an idea. Yeah. That's the type of stuff. People, what they don't know. And they say, I, don't, I never, I don't know what goes on. After I, you know, go in there and when they go home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know. Yeah, what, 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 what is the, what's the truth? What's the truth? And then when you see that, then that's when you get yourself great content. It's, it's all, it's all stuff that we uh, want to know about, but don't know about. Right. And you could start as a documentary as a means to promote it for your show. Exactly. Like a little snippet, like it'd be like a, a 20, 30 minute introduction like a pilot not a pilot but it's just but a straight documentary of just interviewing people in that in 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 their environment and then asking these stories and then that's content for you to put for actual maybe you develop one single character and then kind of follow them yeah from that documentary yeah they develop into going from point a to point b we call that from king to peasant or from peasant to king yeah yeah those different like store like the different um story structures that people use right yeah and the character arc huh. pretty interesting fucking i gotta watch it we all gotta watch it we gotta watch the the, the britney documentary we gotta do it all maybe, maybe we'll watch it together as a family <laughs> I should one, one last time one I last this, <laughs> i wore this in 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 respect for for vin diesel you know since that was his last movie since that was your, that was his last, right? You that's uh, why you, yeah. that's why you Fast wore nine, the white no more the white t shirt. Christian is shaking his head right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he hundred percent is. He's like, yo, fuck out of here, yo. <laughs> nah, I mean, he yo, he's gone, man. Letty's the new Vin. Like, exactly. Yeah. Wa- like, watch, watch. The fat when when w- they women decide to think about Fast Ten. Of course, of course. <laughs> Watch. He's watch. like, yo, y'all trash. I'm serious, man. It's gonna be her on the front, and it's like, we don't want her being the back no more. She's not a prop. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> and then Kevin Samuels is gonna make a special appearance. He's gonna, he's, a, he's actually gonna be the secret villain. He's the secret villain. He's gonna pop up out of the shadows. Why does that seem so accurate? Like that could happen. I would watch the movie, man. I already bought the ticket already. Like it's crazy. <laughs> it's already like, bought. I already bought the ticket. I yeah. sold myself. He sold you. I Michelle should. Rodriguez versus Kev- Kevin Samuels. I just want to see Michelle nine. Rodriguez, man. I mean, ten. I, I, yo, I actually, I've always loved her. Not really lately over the last few years, but I used to always love her. She was like my. She's a nah. She fell uh, off, man. 
She got too rough for you. I don't know what it was. You know, for, like in the first Fast and Furious, oh man, I was in love. Of course. <laughs> I was in love. Even even the the fourth one. The fourth one, when they went to DR, shit, I was in love. And then when they brought her back to life, like it's just not the same Michelle Rodriguez. Like I I think even her as a whole human, like, died and came back to life. Yeah, I think she her career got reborn, to be honest. Cause no one was really working with her because of her her uh, her antics on set. Man. That that was those are real things. And I've seen videos already. I've seen behind the scenes. I've seen her. But you I think she was really that bad though? She, it was just hard to handle for for a set. Like, yo, you come here, what? do your job, that's it. <laughs> like you doing the most right now. Like it's one of those situations. She where, seems like, like she would be cool on set. She seems like she'd be doing pranks and like having fun and shit. Right, but it's all cool when you're not filming. Like they're filming and they do it, you know, and then she would come on set drunk and just belligerent. Mm. Why would you bring that back? Yeah. Especially when everybody else gotta follow suit. And it's like, yo, come on, man. Like bunch of party poopers here. on set on set. Bunch of Nah man. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, but because who knows how bad she was. She might have been bad, but it's that's like... that's why. But then after she she got a wake up call and then then when she started to get work and then she did the fast, got brought back to that. Then all of a sudden she started changing. She's like, all right, she calmed down. And then you start seeing more of her in yeah. projects that aren't Fast and the Furious. You know what I'm saying? Some mm. some people just need that check, man, because, you know, like it's it's so crazy what money can do to you, man. Especially mm. if you've been you've been working hard, working hard, because we all know Michelle Rodriguez being like tough cat. Anytime you put her on a screen. She's punching people in the face. Like she's a tough individual. Yeah. It doesn't matter. And that's what we we want to see that because we we like her as a character. And I'm surprised she wasn't in the Marvel movies. I would have loved to see her as like Gamora or something like that. She would she would have been a perfect like Marvel character. Just in general. I don't even know what character it would have been, but she would have killed it. Yeah, she would have been good at pretty much anything. Right, so I was like, "Yo, you need to come to like I know Universal giving her a check, but you need to come to DC, uh, the Marvel Universe." Imagine her as a Catwoman. No, nah, that's DC. I know. I'm just saying. Nah, that's that's not even her. That's that's not her mo, man. Yeah, you don't think so? Nah, mm-mm. I'm not saying that she can't do it as an actor, but she won't be selling me with that. Like that, her character is very like strong and. Catwoman is a strong individual, but she has a lot of like fluidness to her. Mm. And Michelle Rodriguez's whole entire <laughs> yeah, I actually I want I, I want I want to see Michelle Rodriguez. I want to see her do some like non badass shit. See how she does it, like non badass yeah. shit. That's her whole mo. <laughs> I don't know. Like, that's like that's like Danny Trejo not. Being a badass, yeah, like, same thing, man. These actors gotta be a little bit more versatile. Like we need to him to be like a fucking, like a nice, cool, easygoing dad or some shit. The only time <laughs> something we saw like that a, was in or Spy like a baseball kids. coach. Imagine him being. A, it was Spy Kids. That was the only time we saw him nice. Yeah, for like two seconds. <laughs> two seconds. <laughs> That's the, that's the only time you see certain actors, man. That's it. Like we, like The Rock had to do a couple of like you know nice roles and whatnot. Vin Diesel had to do some nice roles, and then once you get those out the way, uh, you doing whatever you want. Just the same, you just the same. Right? People them. forget that Vin Diesel was the Iron Giant, man, and they said they're gonna bring that back. He does all types of roles, but people don't give him the credit that he deserves. Right? I'm like Vin Diesel out here making money. Yeah. All right, that's all I just yeah, want to he say. Yeah, he does all that shit. Our uh, our uh, film film without a degree uh, seg- segment of this podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was <laughs> that's, it. That's, that's going to be our film. Follow I Am Zane Studios. Yes, exactly. Follow I Am Zane Studios. 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 <laughs> but also, yo, this podcast, episode 207, I want to dedicate uh, to my mom. Today, she would have been 60, right? So this would have been her 60th birthday. All right. Um, June twenty eighth, she was a cancer, so definitely gonna dedicate this episode to her. Some air <laughs> 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 That's a long ass laugh, Bob. It's a long ass 
laugh. I have, I have a SpongeBob sound effect now. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> um. So yeah, man. Uh, dedicate dedicate this one to her. I also want to tell people, yo, like for real, like you know, you see sometimes people that when they when they're with family. And they're with friends and stuff like that. Sometimes they don't want to be always taking the pictures and the videos and shit. But I just want to tell people, do that shit more. Like, take the photos. Take the videos. Like, at the same time, yeah, you don't want to be on a phone. But take the photos. Take the videos. Like, you never know when you're not going to be able to. You know? Um, When you're with your loved ones, hug them. You never know when you're not going to be able to. You know? Sit down and have a conversation with them. Be the bigger person. You never know when you're not going to be able to. And not, and I don't say that because I, I ever regret certain moments. It's just, it's never going to be enough. And there, it's never going to be enough. You, you could take photos all you want with this person. It's never going to be enough. But it's going to be better than you not taking enough. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they, those, those little things like that help. You know, when you're grieving and when you lose someone so close to you. Because death is guaranteed. It's like one of the only things really in life that's really, really guaranteed. Because even taxes, you can kind of get around, (laughs) you know. So, like, you know, a lot of times people don't want to talk about it. But, you know, these things happen. So I'm just here to say, you know, if you're listening to this, you know, your loved ones and the people you love or the people that you're maybe even like a little bit not sure if you completely love, still just do it. Because you just never know. And we live in a world now with technology and we have things like the most stupidest things, yo. Like sometimes you might want to go back and look at a video just to hear the person's voice. Like that shit matters so much to people when they lose someone. Like, yeah, I, I made a video for a good friend a parent passed away recently, and I threw in her voice at the end because I know how much that matters. And it was like blown away, but just by that simple part. So like a lot of times we don't have that for the people that we love to pass away because we're not maybe phone people or we're not on social media or we don't like to use our camera. Or we don't like to be in pictures because we hate we, the way we look or some bullshit. Like just do it, you know, because you never know. So that was just my two cents on that. Um, last week, uh, me and Christian talked about getting too personal on social media. So that shit was dope. Um Zane, I don't know if you heard that episode, but maybe, maybe what's your perspective on that, man? Like, do you feel like, uh, you've, do you, do you feel like you've ever gotten too personal with being on on social media? Like, did you ever maybe on your story say some stuff that was too personal or maybe photos or even maybe on a podcast, do you ever feel like you got into something and then you almost regretted it, you know, or like, do you feel maybe ever not comfortable getting personal, you know, stuff like that? Uh, for the most part, I used to care. I don't care, but I actually don't talk on Instagram because being a guy, you just fucking offend anybody by breathing. So I just kind of just leave it up to memes and shit. Mm. Just just for just for reasons for like business and whatnot, because because people record shit, man. Mm. That's it. And they just take and skew your words and then be like, wow. And then people will make that and then send it and do whatever. So I was like, you know what? I'll keep my opinions to myself verbally, like visually, but I'll fucking say it on my Instagram and mm. whatnot. But mm. even that fucking comes at you like, oh, you you said this and whatnot. You mm. can't do as a guy, you really can't say too much because there's people who like, uh, I don't know, Doja Cat has been avoiding the cancel culture. There's a whole article mm. on her being avoiding being canceled. Yeah. And what she's affiliated with. I was just like, all right, cool. So it seems like it's a one sided thing in terms of the personal space, like the being personal on Instagram. Um, I don't really care, to be honest, mm. about the personal aspect. Like if I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it. But I feel like what do you if what you use your platform for is what people know you for. So if I'm get too political, then it's like people are here for pictures. If I'm going to make a platform on Instagram for political views, then I mm. just need to make another account so people know what they're getting into. Ain't nothing worse than you going here for like trees and flowers. And then on that same account, you see just titties out and girls busting and white. Like you're just mm. like that. I'm not here for that. I'm here for the mountains and the trees. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I feel like you got to really identify what your platform is in order for you to talk so that it just makes sense. That people are following you for a reason. 
and they be they may be following you. Be oh, I love his work. I love his visual artwork and this and third. Granted, you could crack memes and jokes, but have them at least somewhat catered to what you do, so it makes sense. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you could you could get you could get personal you want, but like I don't like it's the what what you have to understand is getting personal has a limit. You can't say what you want because you have the ability to say so. Just like you can't do what you want because there's limits. And people are, they get pissed off that there's limits in this world. Um, I was like, so was, I just, I, I I find it interesting that you just have to just read the room and understand you can't really say certain things because it is offensive. It might be offensive today. You man, and the problem is we don't get memos. Like when shit becomes offensive, there's no memos that you get in your email or you get a mail, you open it up and you're just like, oh shit, this is offensive today. I guess I can't say this today. Like when we don't get that. So then when when something happens, you know what he said? What happened? Oh, you said blank. You're not supposed to say that. Then who the fuck was going to tell me I couldn't say that anymore? Mm. D- d- were you the person? So it's, so we live in a culture. Let me yell at the person first before I, I have a conversation with them. There's one thing if I say, hey, you know, we can't say this because of X, Y, Z. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, OK. So now I have two choices after getting that information. One is not do it. Two is say, fuck you. I'm going to do it anyway. Then the consequences are yours because you were warned. Kind of like if you're driving and you get a ticket, you, you it'll show you have a warning. If you don't have no warning, and or they gave you a warning and you still didn't fix the problem, well, you now you got a ticket. Yeah, that's just how it goes. And we skip the we skip the warning and go straight for the ticket. So I'm gonna mm. cancel someone on the first offense. Granted, there's obviously first offenses that need to be canceled from the jump. Obviously, killing a person or any sexual assault, like those, obviously need to be canceled from the jump. But I'm talking about stuff like oh, um, throwing a celery at someone. You know what I'm saying? Like you never been in a food fight in your life. If I were to go, so here's the bullshit. If you were to go back in time, and you were to be accountable for all your actions. And we're going beyond high school, hmm. beyond middle school, all the way into elementary school. And you threw something at a kid. I, you will be accountable for that. How you feel about that? It's retarded. So, so you punch the kid in his arm in fifth grade. Now you have to now you have to be accountable for it because mm. you made him feel bad that day and it changed his life. Yeah. That's what we're getting. That's where we're heading. That's 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 what's gonna be next. Mm. Um, we're getting too sensitive. Others, other countries, they not that they're not sensitive, but they're looking at us like it's not, it's not that serious. <laughs> yeah, like what's going on here? You could put your attention on other things that are serious, like the infrastructure of the government, but y'all decide to nitpick at dumb shit. Mm. Like when fucking Starbucks had like uh the holiday cups or some shit like that. Really? <laughs> it's crazy. They're like, not all everyone celebrates Christmas. Not everyone <laughs> celebrates Christmas. We're offended. Yo, people be bored. That's really what it is, man. Bro, Yo, what, did, people, what is there to do, man? Some people have are so bored. Like, I, like, all right, so we all are from the same area. So there's a Facebook group. And someone recently put a post up. And I was just like, how does this affect you? And I really wanted to tell them, like, oh, you're bored, man. You just got a hobby, bro. Well, what did they say? They were complaining about the back of Blink Fitness being a little dirty. <laughs> and they took photos of it and they were like, someone needs to report this and all this bullshit. Like, bro, if you don't keep walking and shut the fuck up. Like, hold on, where, where, where's my sound? I have, I, have, I have one for that. Shut the fuck up, you man. Exactly. Shut the, my, shut I have a soundboard that says shut man. the fuck up. All right? Like... Bro, just keep walking, man. Like, does does that affect your fucking day? People, I feel like, are bored, have nothing else better to do, and just have nothing else to, else to stress about. Like, some people have like real issues in the world. But I don't know, man. It's crazy. What um, what do you have? You got in trouble for anything? Me? Yeah. Oh yeah, of course, multiple times. Like um, for like uh, any- it's it's not it's not on Instagram. That's the funny part. 
So where, what have you got in trouble on for? Her, like, it's I mean, always on Facebook. So you've got in trouble for always on Facebook. on Facebook. All all the time, bro. For That's, saying, I'm for saying something too Facebook. personal. Yeah, all the time. I could post, bro. I could post something and it comes off as an offensive thing. And you just posting something. I didn't even make it, but because I posted it, it's a problem. Mm. And and, and th- that's that's why it's just hilarious. So Instagram haven't gotten no no shit for it. But when it comes to Facebook, I think that's where that's where the that's where the group comes from. Where it's like, oh, you know, you can't do this, and everybody wants to talk. Yeah. That's, that's where they'll talk. Like, I think I had a. It was like a. It was a. It was a. It was a. Um, I get no. What was it? What was it? I posted something that had to do with. It's funny how that the government tells you, no, no, CDC tells you not to have, like, China, no, one pregnant. And and then when it comes to the, the CDC talking about, like, uh, the vaccines, they say, no, take that shit or something to that effect. But it was like, but there's an inconsistency in terms of the CDC of what they're saying and what they yeah, suggestion what they're saying and it was a lot of contradiction that was that was that was the premise was the CDC is not uh, has inconsistency and they're not always 100% right all the time that was there was a joke in there that was that was the yeah. satire joke they took that and they spinned it and they said women can take Tylenol during their pregnancy so that's all you heard. And they came at your life. They came at my life, but I was just like, I didn't, I didn't entertain it. I didn't go back and forth. I was just like, I was like, they were, oh, what is this supposed to mean? I was like, I said the that they're saying they're poking fun at the inconsistencies at the CDC suggestions. Mm. And that was that was all I that's that was, I pretty much laid it out, and then they were, they kind of took that, mm. and then another person commented, "Women can have time and all," because I was able to have time and all when I was pregnant. So a lot of women were commenting at this point. I was just like, I don't. But some of them were like, they understood it, and then others they were just kind of like yeah, no. so far over their head. I like you're, they're focused on that one piece, and I was like, so you guys, I guess, and took the vaccine because most of them, the, the ones that were making that comment, were making taking the vaccine and whatnot. I have no problem with people taking the vaccine, but this this that whole comment. Had nothing to do about you taking the vaccine or not. It was mm-hmm. just a funny satire, on yeah, it's funny, a funny meme, it just funny meme yeah. talking about CDC not being consistent. But that was taken to a whole new mm-hmm. high. But it was interesting. But the it was it was a shock to me because the person who had was was offended by it was the person that would be the whistleblower on other things such as the government not doing. What mm. they need to do, or is it in the Facebook group? Brutality or something? I'm not. Nah, not the Facebook oh. group. It was. It was, it was just page? a. Reg- it was my regular post. Okay. Yeah, it was a while ago. It was a while ago. I'm about to. I'm about to go but find it. <laughs> you could. You probably could find it. 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 If you scroll down, you'll you'll see it. But I'm not. What about? But it was uh, just. Oh no! We're gonna say. No, I was, that was it. I'm gonna say, what about uh on the pod? Did we get in trouble for anything on the pod that was too personal that you said? No, I don't really care what anybody says. No, I'm not saying if you care. I was saying if you ever got in trouble. No, for no one. No. <laughs> okay, if they came at you like, yo, you no, said I'll... this. <laughs> nah, have you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely got in trouble. But like I guess I don't yeah, care. Yeah, no either. one, no one reaches out but... to me and says, "Oh, I didn't like what you said about such and such and whatnot." Oh yeah, because I know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I, I, I pay attention to my words, so I, I won't be talking out of my ass. So I feel like. If if you want to talk to me, then we can have a conversation. Um, yeah. But it's just like no one's reached out and tell me anything. If yeah. anything, people do this dumb shit where they just unfollow you and not tell you. Yeah, that is fucking stupid. All right. Like, so what happened? You didn't have a conversation. Shut so the you fuck just unfollow up, me. Man. I, I don't notice if you unfollow. But yeah. That's that's what ends up happening. And then and then they refollow you again. Like since when? I don't even know when you unfollowed me. Yeah, word. People, people. So that so it's very indirect when it comes to me. So I haven't experienced anything that I've said on the therapy without a degree podcast, but it's usually stuff that I post. But it's like, but if it'll be, it's funny when it's anti-police things, or 
vaccine conversation. It's just like a general just things that matter, stuff. but just general. Not, not, not like about there. someone specifically. No, no, never, never about right. like I never, it never was a sense where I said something about one person and then they came at my life and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I, I, I explain both sides. If you want to hear my perspective, both sides. But years ago, before the podcast, I was just posting quotes, and these are like quotes that I made up, and then people were mad. Well, there's like a few people that are mad, and they didn't matter to me. But it was just interesting that one of my quotes pretty much was about them. Yeah. It was about people who come at your life that are hating on you, that are drawing you back. Mm. And I was like, so the people who responded are the people that the quote was about. about. I just and I just found it funny. I'm like, you you're doing exactly that. What but the says. best part of right, but the best part about it, I had friends that were attacking the people who were commenting that was already a problem. That's epic. So that's so I didn't have to do idea. anything. Yeah, he's gonna have to do shit. I had to do anything. I just I was just eating popcorn while I was just watching them getting their lives attacked. And mm. then eventually he unfollowed me. I was like, oh, you should just start a blog, blah, blah, blah. And, blah. and that was when it was no videos. It was just straight up, like, status. Yeah. That's how old. I showed my age, everybody. But still, <laughs> hey, but we're, the, we're young, bro. We're young. But All right, 30s, the is, is, 30s is, is the new 20. That's what I keep telling people. But, yeah, so that's that was pretty much what got people to... Uh, uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, that that it was just like certain things like that, man. But anything that's political, like on Instagram, I noticed that I noticed people who were watching, like if I was like anti police or discriminatory things or whatnot. Um, I wouldn't get any messages, but I sure see a, a an increase or decrease in my following. Oh, you can tell. Okay, you can have, tell. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, can tell. but there's people I had to unfollow. For their bullshit rhetoric that they were saying, I was just like, "Oh no, I, was like, I can't see that." And then people, I was surprised that they were about that life. Do you ever like, see? This, this... Oh no, what were you, you saying? No, there was a there was a YouTuber that I used to watch. Was, they were twins. It was the Hodge twins. Okay, and they were they were pro Trump, and and granted they were from the military, but I was like, I didn't know. I was like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. They just were just like the shit that they were saying. I'm like, oh man, I guess I can't fuck with y'all no more. Out of here. I was, yeah, I was like, so because they were saying that race about racism not really existing, and certain shit like that. Like, in turn, I was like, they're half black, half white. Mm. So I was like, I was like, I, I, I understand that you you think that there's not because you haven't directly been affected, but uh, I can tell you now it does in fact in- exist. Mm. And it was just, it was a lot of contradiction. I was like, you know, I can't even bother with this channel. I was like, I'm out. Like, I'm done. But it's, a, it's times like those. Yeah. I was like, I, maybe I am for some people when I say certain things, but I'm pretty respectable in terms of, like, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, white people need to do blah, blah, blah. Now, that's the type of shit that will get conversation started, but it's not necessary. Yeah. What, what is necessary that you say is there's people who are racist that are pieces of shits. I don't need to specify what their skin color is because that has no bearing. There's, there's race, racist is racist. That's it. Yeah, it doesn't. Don't, don't try to put a color on it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like this, I, I see people every day and they, they surprise me on their bullshit that comes out of their mouth. And yep. you'd be surprised. So it's just, but there, it, but there is a sense, there is white privilege, there is all this stuff. And people, and there's gentrification that is going on and whatnot. Like these are all, all proof, but that's the type of shit that affects people's mental, man. Yeah, all the shit that's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's hard to not like it's like you can't talk about mental health and not not talk about racism. Exactly. You can't talk about shit situations where it's like, oh yeah, I'm working on my mental. I'm not trying to be angry anymore. But then I have I'm in the area where people are racist, and they come at my life, and then I have a family. And then they start throwing shit at my family. How do you not get angry? It, that's a yeah. challenge because you have a, you're in a racist area. Like you can't. There's certain topics you can't avoid. But then in school, they tell they're trying to to not really talk about slavery in school. So it's just like that. So then when they get older and they come in and they have you know, the mental health is like perpetuated more because you're you're not telling people the truth and you're not teaching them how to handle certain situations. I wish there was better classes. I wish there was a class that you just meditate. 
I don't know. Maybe that's against people's fucking. Oh, don't teach my kid how to fucking be calm. I don't know. Like maybe, like this. There's people who do shit like that, man. Yeah, and you're like, right, you you don't. The stuff that the stuff that they're like you're they're not getting into, and the stuff that they're avoiding is causing more of the mental health issues. Right, and it's, it keeps getting worse and worse. Like we all, when we got out of school, we wanted to learn how to do taxes and budget, and and learn how to save money. And learn and learn how to write checks and shit like that. I don't know, like shit like that would have made sense for us, especially if they didn't have no expectations for all of us. How about you make a standard by saying, you know, but that's not in the curriculum, man. I can't. If you save money, if I teach your kids in a low income community how to save money, then I, as a as a person who's a wealthy person, then I can't make money off of y'all because y'all too mm. smart. Because y'all going to probably yeah. want to start your own business. If everybody starts their own business, I can't make money. So I have to I have to cripple the community to make you dumb so you can spend more money. And I have to put I have to start putting money in organizations that are, are sucking away your money. Oh, you gotta, yeah. You got to be careful. Best sneakers. You got to be careful. They're listening to you right now. I hope they do. Fuck them. So it's like, right. yo, I want you to buy those sneakers, man. I want you to get those shoes. I want you to pull all your money. I'm not going to tell you about stock. I'm not going to tell you about real estate. I'm not telling you about any of that shit. That's the type of shit that they do, man. Yeah. No, and totally. by they, I'm not saying specifically, but just you just ask yourself the question, who has the power to do so? Exactly. We all know. And that, and I, and that like I yeah. said, and that plays a major factor on how people... Like they need therapy. Yeah. There's people who are in debt. Like there's some people who leave college are in debt. Do you, do you imagine having a uh, fifty thousand or sixty thousand uh, dollars in debt o- hanging over your head, and then going to work and getting paid like eight ten dollars an hour? Well, it, it's it's fucked up and it's wild that they even push college on everybody. <laughs> right, because here's the fun part: you got to go to college so you can get a good job. Goes to college, doesn't get a good job. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Seems like a lie to me. It yeah. Seems like a lie to it's me. Fucking, There's people I know with bachelor scam. degrees, and and then it's it's, it's a biggest scam. It's the biggest scam because that was that's all they wanted was the money. So you're telling me I went to school, got a four a four year degree, and you're telling me that I go to apply a job and they'd ask for ten to twenty years of experience. Yep, that's all they really. I just came out of college. I do. I went. I spent four (laughs) years in this school. Yeah, I paid. I spent sixty. I'm sixty thousand to eighty plus in debt, and you're telling me that I have to mop this floor. And you're in debt with your time because you invested time into that. I'm in time. I'm in debt with time, and I I'm trying to live by myself. So then I now I got to live at home. But then you can't live at home really and, and have a social life if you're trying to meet a girl because people uh, guys who live at home are bums with their parents. What? They can't. But they're working. They're working. They're trying to save money. Yeah. Now you have to now you have to fight the status of of I have to, you know, I have to show off. I got to wear fancy this. I, I got to go. I got to live on my own and struggle instead of pacing yourself mm. to what you want. Now I'm hitting 30. Now you got to get married. You got to have some kids. That's a lot to think about, man. And, they wonder, and, that just, and, they and that's all the way up yeah. to 30. Yeah. That's up to 30. You know what I'm saying? And, and so that. imagine someone, the next tier is when you're in your 40s and you don't have no kids. And then you, you're with your family. Why you don't got no kids? You got to settle down, blah, blah, this, then the third. Oh, you still live at home with your parents? Oh, blah, blah, that's kind of thing. And it's just, or you're the oldest in in, in a job, mm. and then there's a, a person that's younger than you that's a manager. Mm. And you're 40 years old, and the mm. manager and is 22 talk shit. years old. And people talk shit. And it's just like, that's the type of shit that I'm talking about in terms of how do you structure your fucking mental health in a world of chaos when people might not have the time to listen to a podcast. People don't have the time to go outside and enjoy the air Yeah, because I'm too busy fucking working. And then by the time I wake up, I'm retired and I'm 60 and I wasted my time. 
And then only until then I realized, oh, man, I should have enjoyed myself. Mm. Yeah. You're right. No, but it's it's all it's all a balance because then sometimes, you know, you need the money to 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 enjoy yourself to a point. But it's like it's all balance, man. You say need money when we don't need money. We need air. Yeah, we yeah, don't yeah, need yeah. money. That's 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 where that's why people are stuck in the loop. I don't know. As I've been getting older, I've been feeling a little differently about it. I used to I used to think like that a lot. And then now, as I'm getting older, I'm think like, like what, like oh, the whole like money and happiness and all that type of stuff. And money, when I when I have better money, it makes me happier because I don't have to stress about bills. You know, I could go on a vacation and enjoy myself. I can't pay for that with happy. I, I pay for that with money. I think I think you sound like a victim of of what's going on, Joe. That's what it sounds. Whatever, like. whatever it is, I can't I can't buy. I, I I can't pay my PSCNG with happy. I can't pay for vacations. No, no, no. You misunderstood. Your happiness is what keeps you going. Thousand percent. The happiness exactly. is the fuel. If but you the, don't have any happy, it doesn't matter how much money you have. And that's a yeah. proven fact. I under I understand. But money that. so money doesn't generate happiness. No, it doesn't generate it. But how do you It does it it makes things easy, just like having a, a partner, yeah, or having a pet. It makes things easier, yeah. but but to say to say that it to money makes things easier, of course it does. There's a lot of things that make yeah. things easier, but you can't just solely focus on just the fact that money is gonna make things easier. You well, know, yeah, what I'm, saying? I'm not a millionaire. No. Yeah, obviously not that, but just like. Just certain things like I've noticed, like okay, the things that like okay, what I guess what makes people happy, you know, and it's like okay, there's a fine balance of that. So it's like okay, what makes you happy, and then if you say, oh, I love going to the movies every week, it makes me happy. All right, well, guess what? You right, and that's not money. Well, no, it is. But you gotta buy the tickets. No, it's not. How you gonna buy the tickets? But you can get free tickets. You could work there. I get it. You but, could work yeah, there, but then we and you start... could go there, or you could get you could you could have won a contest, and and all you did was do a backflip on a recorded video, and now you get free movies all the time. I get you, but I think you know where I'm getting at. You know, like no, nah, I I understand <laughs> that money makes things easy, but so does drugs. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, of course. So you can't. So I'm never gonna let you win on saying that money is gonna it's not about be win. the just, winner. In this. Yeah, it's not about win. It's Fuck just, money. Yeah, it's because I I know there's people who are listening to this and they're thinking like, yeah, but it's like no, fuck the money and do what you love. We only live on this planet. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know. 100%. So why stop yourself? You can make money. Money's gonna be there. That's it. Yeah, money's I gonna agree. be there. You know, but but time. It's not something that's gonna yeah. always be there for you. Yes, that exactly. shit is more rare than yeah. money. Crystal was saying the same thing at the same time, and and no, and and I'm a thousand percent with that. I just like, and that's and that's always what I speak on. I just feel like people are also at the same time while saying all that is forgetting. You need you need the cash to fund these things. No. Okay. No, you don't. All right. So find me a free vacation. I'm just that. Just, I'll be happy tomorrow if I go to DR. I, find me free tickets. Free tickets, free tickets to go to DR. Good. I'll be happy in DR. You don't. All you you know what all you need to do to get free tickets to DR. What a sponsor. Tomorrow, I'll, I'll be happy tomorrow if I can go. So you that, can find me a sponsor. Not, it's not. Oh, hold on, Christian got some. Christian got some. All right, what's up? Why you gotta go to DR to be happy? Because there will be. And then, and I know that's what the, where the conversation. <laughs> Thank you, Christian. Was, no, but I know that's Thank where the conversation you, is gonna go. Oh, you could just be happy in your element, self love, fill it up. I could be happy right here. I could be in DR in my fucking pocket. Oh, Guess God. what? I'm not. I'll be happy in DR tomorrow, right? Like, that's a let's state just be of real. Mind. Like, okay, yeah, I get it. Like you're saying, okay, yeah, uh, I'm I'm happy if I go to the movies every week. Guess what? I don't have the money to go to the movies every week. Oh, you know, envision a movie. Close your eyes and think about the movie. <laughs> 
Like, shut the fuck up sometimes, man. <laughs> or you can like, make a movie. Yeah, but you can come, make like, a movie. Let, like I said, let's be real about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm but sick of first of all, I know you ain't talking about free movies. I ain't gonna put anybody on blast, but I'm just saying. Like, I'm just no, no one's paying for <laughs> each movie. <laughs> yeah. No one's paying. Yeah, we were talking for about that sneaking in movies. <laughs> <laughs> but you get my analogy. That's all I'm saying is the analogy of like at the same time while we have to like, you know, life is short. Yes, you do need money to do things. Absolutely. Like there's, there's no like if you're going to go to a restaurant, you're not going to eat in that restaurant for free. Yeah, but to I'm going to sign it with happy. Never... I'm going to sign. I'm going to sign the tip with happy and I'm going to say I'm going to tip you happiness. But guess what? There's a, there's a thing called the bartering system. I've gone to many restaurants and paid zero and I got fed for free. <laughs> How did I do that? Go wash dishes for 20 minutes? You know the answer to that, Joe. <laughs> What'd you huh? do? What? I really don't. All I did all I did was take pictures. All I oh, did yeah, was yeah, do a yeah, mini you're video. You're right. You're right. No, no, you're right. Did I pay anything? No, but the value wasn't something else. I so get it, but I mean, who's something... living their life every day? Like, I gotta pay rent. Who said who's living their life like that? Every single day. Celebrities? People who do, I could say YouTubers, vloggers, podcasters, every day, every day Joe day. Budden, every day, all day, <laughs> like every every day. All I got to do all is right. make a YouTube video on rain, and people are getting paid three thousand dollars a day because of the streams. I get that. So you tell me, Joe. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to know how can I pay my rent with happy? You, it's not about happy. <laughs> You is happiness is your own battle okay, okay. yourself. So, so yeah, how, I can tell you how you get you could pay for things just <laughs> n- just being yourself or just starting a YouTube. You could do so many things to make the money and it'll just generate. But I could give you a billion dollars. It's it sucks to have oh I have a billion dollars. Are you gonna have fake friends? No, you're right. No, you're right. I get it. I get that. There's people who have billions of dollars that off themselves. It's nuts. Yeah. Oh, they had money. They had money to take care of their stuff. That didn't make them. Ha- they could go anywhere in the world, and they had a billion dollars. Yeah. They said they weren't happy. So that's a that's an internal battle. Yeah. So money ain't gonna fix that. Those that part of the happy, yes. But guess what? When I can't pay my rent, I'm not happy. When I can't pay a bill, I'm not happy. If I right, but you know, we all go. We're not. We can't be happy all the time. That, I mean, like, yeah, what kind of drug are you on? I mean, or maybe there are people that could be happy all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they 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 got enough vitamin D in their system. I don't know, but to to think that, all right, if I'm gonna I'm gonna fix the not happy moments with money, you could throw that out. You could throw that out. But yes, some of it, some of it, you, some of money, it, some if, of it. You can fix you, some of the you, not happy you, moments with money. Not all of them. Because there's a lot exactly, of internal shit. So that you got to say, you exactly, you got to say, you could fix some of the a happy good half. moments. I'd say a good half. But not all of the happy moments. A good half. Nah, I don't think half, man. I, think, I actually think more than that, but I think about 75%. I think 75%. That's, that's a lot. I could name shit right now that I'm not happy about. Yeah, but what if, fix. what? all right, you spend all your money, you spend a billion dollars, right? You have a billion dollars. But then every time you spend that billion dollars, a new billion dollars comes back. How much money do you need to spend to not be happy anymore? To not be happy? To not be happy anymore. Like, how much money do you need to spend to be like, damn, like, you're bored? <laughs> to be bored? How much money do you have to spend to be bored? I don't know. I haven't done the math. Exactly my point. I haven't done the math. Exactly my point. Exactly. So if I'm bored, you're going to get bored regardless. I get that. That's, that's what that 25% goes in. So the money ain't going to fit. What are you, you going to do if you did everything? And survived. Let that's, me say that's that. Not even really where did I'm everything at, though, and survived. I, I, I'm not even really getting at all that. Like I think, I think we're speaking two different things. That's what we're in. We're in there now, man. We're in the pool. That's it. I think we're. I think we're that's speaking it. different things. I'm just no. Saying, we were talking about the yeah. same thing. I'm just saying, like I get it. Obviously, money's not everything, and you could be extremely fucking unhappy while being a fucking billionaire. I get it, but I think we right. just, we just need to stop. The world needs to stop that conversation of that money is so bad. You know what I'm saying? Or like getting money and trying to chase money and trying to hustle is so bad because it's so bad for you. It's like, yo, look, you know, we we want homes. We want to be able to retire early. We talk about freedom. We talk about all this type of stuff. Guess what? Money brings those things. You need money for those things. You know what I'm saying? Like if I, if, if it just, 
money you need money for a lot of shit man and it's just like i feel like I, I see all these fucking videos of these people and talking about this and talking about that and doing these graphics and how money's so bad and shit it's like yeah i get it it sucks that we gotta work and it sucks we gotta hustle sometimes but we need it for the things that we say we want if if and then if, if, if people don't act like that then i don't want to hear about this shit i don't want to hear about the sneakers people want i don't want to hear about the vacations that people want i don't want to hear about anything because it's like guess what if you're saying money's so bad you know Quit your job then. If if money if money isn't good for you, then quit your job. Quit your job and and and, and go find other ways to pay for it. You know, what I'm like it's just I don't know. Money has become this thing to where it's like being so. It's like it's like a hot or cold effect, right? It's like for some reason there can't be no middle ground with money. Like either you need a fucking billion dollars or you ain't shit, or you know you don't need a damn thing. You just got to be happy and love yourself. There's no so your conversation is directed towards people who have a thing against money being bad. It's just how everyone is just always like, don't even think about the money. And it's like, well, guess what? Well, no, no, no. That's that's a different direction. When they say that is money has a way of of motivating the wrong thing. Like if mm. I create, say, if I take a picture yeah. and I've done shoots. I'm not thinking about money the entire time. I'm just mm. thinking about me shoot. creating the art. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking about the shoot itself. The moment you start to think about the money and that money is motivating the idea, the creativity, that's what they're saying. They're saying, like, if you have a business, then do work on the business. Mm. But if you're focusing on the money, which you, you should be focusing on that, but... Don't focus on it so much where it distracts you from the creating of exactly. the actual content I, a thousand that percent. you're doing. I, that, and that, that's that, that I agree. No, leaning I agree a thousand percent with that. It's just in while people are going about that, it's just a lot of like, it's a lot of, oh, you know, like bashing fucking money and bashing people's um, idea to hustle, you know, and to make more, to make more money. You know what I mean? But who, who's usually doing that? That's bashing the hustle because it sounds like those are the people who are actually hustling. Mm, no, I don't know. A lot of times I'd be seeing like sometimes you see those. Like sometimes I see Gary V say it, and I fuck with Gary V and I love Gary V. But sometimes he says it, but it's like, you know, I get it. But like, who wants to be fucking chasing garage sales every day? You know what I mean? Sometimes I just want some. I need some fucking money to pay the fucking bills. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's just it's just a balance. That's all I'm saying. This is just it's just all all a balance. And I see a lot of times these things and it's just like, I think they're trying to perpetuate a lot of people to just not even focus on the money or to think about how much money for certain things that you actually do need, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? Like most of America, most of the world is broke, like by, by number standards. You know what I'm saying? Like people will, people don't understand, even, and even it even fucks us creators that have to get paid. You know what I'm saying? Like for you, if you if you send an invoice for a thousand dollars, oh, wow, it's a lot of money. Thousand dollars really ain't getting any of us anywhere. You know what I'm saying? And for that's, the time, that's, that's, no, 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 you can go. No, no. So it's it's funny because you say that because it's just like it's not it's not a lot it's not a lot of money when you think about it. Like it took me a while. I used to think a thousand was a lot because I was I was making nowhere near that. That's what I'm I was saying. happy to get like a hundred something. A hundred something, yeah. not two hundred something. A hundred something. Yeah, you happy so to with me, that? A thousand, and I'm looking at my bills. I'm like, wait, it's not even enough. Yes, I've been actually undercharging people certain and things. And that's what gets night. me pissed off about it. That's what gets me pissed off, right? Is because we are trying to teach the youth and teach the people we love and all that shit that value has no is not, you know, like like I said, what you should be earning a thousand on, you were maybe charging a hundred on. And to right. me, that that pisses me off because I know you deserve the thousand and you need the thousand. Those are two different things, right? And when I say need, you know what I mean by need. I don't mean that you actually really need it because you're good. That's not what I'm talking about like on a personal thing. I'm just saying like, yo, look, to pay your bills and to, and to you know, your current lifestyle, the lifestyle you want or whatever you fucking deserve. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I, people, people don't understand Yo, like, even for kids that are they're out here working twelve dollars an hour, and people are fighting about fifteen dollars minimum wage. Like, yo, fifteen dollars minimum wage is still ass. When you live he said in twenty five, is the this should be the new standard. 
I'm like, that would, that but would that's make, what I'm saying. We can't, it's, it's, nice. a, it's, it's a fucking, con, it's a contradiction to be talking about we want higher minimum wage, but then to talk about how money ain't nothing. It's just, a, it's just, it just, it needs to be more, in, you know, more talk about these things. Like, yo, for you to be able to have a home by yourself too, it's obviously easier when you're with a couple. But for me to right now go live in this apartment to pay these bills, it's not fucking easy. You know what I'm saying? And people will assume maybe that it is because they don't really understand the value of money. You know what I'm saying? Or even for someone buying a home. That's why most most times couples end up staying together because they don't, like, it takes two of them to afford the down payment for a home and to pay a mortgage and to pay taxes and all that shit. Because That's, that's why when they, they hear about the cheating, they're like, damn. You see what I'm saying? They're like, nah, I got to break up, but I got to hold off because I can't pay this. Exactly. I can't afford a move. And we have so, we have, I have so much stuff here that I can't, that I can't afford to live in the same situation. But guess what? The additional person. If money wasn't an issue, they wouldn't compromise. And you say if money wasn't an issue? They wouldn't compromise. They'd be out. They wouldn't compromise their happiness or their mental health. They would be out and they would live somewhere else. But most times people stay because they cannot afford their mortgage themselves. They cannot afford their taxes by themselves. There are, there are most people who can't afford their kids by themselves. So they're staying with a fucking, if it's a lot of moms out here staying with dudes because they can't afford to live on their own. Vice versa. I'm telling you that. that and then it's like, and it all has to do with money. You can't afford it. It's money. So it's like, then when we start talking about how money ain't shit, it's like, I get it, but all that, you know what I'm saying? Well, essentially, like like I was saying before, you got to you got to hustle. You got to you got to work hard. Everybody got to work hard. It's just the name of the game. If money is the if money is the only ticket to get what you want, then you have to do X amount of laborers to get that ticket. And if you feel like that's not enough, then you I tell people, I'm like, yo, you better add another hustle if this ain't enough. Cause if you're gonna if you're gonna complain about that one job, then you better have another side hustle, yeah, to make more money. I feel like that's where the problem lies: is people expect all all eggs from that one basket, yeah, and that's what we lived on. Like, all right, if I go to this one school, then I'll get the education I need. But there's no rule against going to multiple colleges. Yeah, there's no rule on seeking more education that's non-college related a thousand percent like how me and you do you know i was watching different youtube videos about different things one day you're sending me something about lighting the next day it's something about this one day something else about that you know you're diverse in your education right and that and i've i'm a big proponent i was like yo i I did youtube university before they even try to make it a thing and i had to i would self-teach myself like yo i like doing this so let me learn like djing photography filming creating sets and whatnot like this is stuff that i'm interested in but there's money in them doing marketing consulting like there's a lot of things that i do but it's just like yo if something because i had to think if I physically can't do this, then what can I do that's not taxing on me physically that I can make money on? Or maybe I could design something home and then people are making, are giving, I could give work to people or receive work from people mm. overseas and do remote work. Well, yeah, because you, you, know you, know you work smarter, not harder. Right. And and I feel like we, we aren't, we're not in this, we we need to, I don't know, for some reason, because there's people who go to work and they party on weekends. That's like your thing. I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm just saying, like, that's that's, that's like on the masses. I'm living for the weekend. That's why I hate that. Me and Christopher were talking about that recently. Right. It's it's just it's just I'm living for the weekend, and then you could do what you want to do during the weekday as well, but now nah, I'll wait till the weekend. Do, and that's and you only get two days to yourself and work five days. Mm. That's, that's a pain in the ass. You could do what you want to do. But we we we've conditioned ourselves to do certain things, and that's why we're stuck in that loop. Thinking I only I I just have one job. I go to school, one school, and I go to have one job. You're very one dimensional. One dimensional, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But to convince people who've been conditioned since, you know how many years it would take. All right, it takes 21 days to learn a new habit. They put people in school for, I, I want to say, 16 years. I want to say maybe even less. Let's say 14 years. You're in 14 years of getting conditioned. 
Then you add another four years to that. Now you have 18 years conditioning yourself. And they've taught you to to do it a certain way. Exactly. And then you're going to re- re- reverse it. So then once you break out of that, how many, how long do you think it takes for the average person to mm. recondition themselves? Yeah. To learn a new habit, like to make it seem like, yo, it's okay to get another side hustle. But I don't have a, a business, though. I think we, uh, I think we, first of all, we stumbled upon a really good topic that we just had. That was a really good one. And then we stumbled into something else for next week. So I'm curious to see what uh, what take out on that. What? what <laughs> did I accidentally talk about a topic? No, you just started a whole new one, I think, for next week, which I think is great. Oh. <laughs> which is oh, great. What was it? Basically that, just being very one dimensional about them conditioning us uh, one dimensional and then just one dimensional thinking all together. So then maybe we, right. maybe, maybe we do that when next week with Tay. Right. And so. uh, that, all I'm saying is that's that it's very difficult to, to tell people or to condition them to do something different if it's like that's all they know. Yeah. And I feel like I, I tell people to just get a side hustle and they're just like their brains just like, what do you what? What do you mean? Yeah, I don't have time. Is I don't know how to do that. I don't have time. I don't have time. I'm like, all right. First of all, you you work from you work from X from like let's say eight to five or eight to four. What do you do with the rest of your day? Do hold, you go to sleep on to second. work? One second. You gotta cl- click on the number uh, three. Oh, uh, click click stop. Yep. There you go. Test test. <laughs> all right we got we got we got we got christian on the line he couldn't help it i couldn't help it bro i'm just like listening to conversation man i missed a little bit what zane said i had to use the bathroom real quick hi everybody hey but uh basically you guys are having the same fight you're not on the fight, same not side fight. Not fight, fight, fight. <laughs> the same debate you're on the same side right i'm gonna give you guys a quote um uh dr jordan peterson said I was talking about, he was talking um, during a lecture to a bunch of students. Let's say you go to school um, eight hours a day. Fine. You get that out of the way. There's still how much, how many, how many hours are left? Um, what was that? 16. 16, right? All right, out of that 16, what are you doing? It's like, ah, uh, I don't got time. I don't, I don't got time to, uh, for fitness. I don't got time to, um, learn a new hobby or whatever the time's there okay you don't got time but what are you doing you on your phone mm. you swiping through videos <laughs> you you watching whatever you ain't watching three hour movie but you watching 16 half hour youtube clips non-stop can't sleep ah uh, but you but you staying up right and then you value that time like you saying we not worth just some 12 20 dollars an hour most human beings we 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 value ourselves at like the fifty dollar range. Yeah. Put fifty dollars and let's say out of that sixteen, you dedicate another eight. So what's what is that? I don't know. I can't do math right now. Yeah. <laughs> but if you dedicate that, it's like and you just put in the work to find something to do that you can potentially make money out of, then you can do it. It's like everybody's got the time, but everybody just gets in their own way. Kind of like what we were talking about last week, right? Yeah. We get in our own way, but if you want to make money, money's there. You've got extremes of both sides. You got the really, really good hustlers, and you got the people that like, ah, uh, money's not for everybody. But you live in America; everything's built so on saying, the value of the dollar. Yeah. It's true. But if you want to make it to a point that you don't have to worry about the money, you got to keep doing what you're passionate about. What we're doing right here, right now, right? Yep. That's all it's about. The money will come. Yep. If you need to do other shit to make that money, so be it. Exactly. At least you're doing that. Exactly. Yeah. But don't put your happiness to the value of the dollar. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Those are two different. Those are two different. You're not that guy, pal. Uh, Trust me. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Because, like, just people are finding, trying to figure out how to be happy. I was like, yeah. you know how you could, I tell people, you know how you could try to find your happiness is exploring the world and getting out of your comfort zone. Yeah. 
Exactly. That's yeah. that's that, you know, that's the only way you could find happiness. But you know what I'm gonna say, right? It's exploration. You know oh, you need money? No, you could walk. No, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, you but fuck that. Nah, nah, nah. Get the fuck out of here. Walk. Yeah. Nah. yeah. Nah. All right, all right, John. Walk. You're gonna. I'm gonna. You can walk. You're gonna, you can I want you to explore the world. John. Make a boat and I'm fucking a... sail yourself all the way to DR. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we are in this podcast. What are you shouting out for this week? <laughs> this guy just. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get my boat tomorrow, and then Tane's gonna call me and be like, "Joe fucking lost it. He's a fucking lunatic because he's walking to DR." Why not? You would, you would tell me that. You would tell me that. I would tell you. Yo, if Cubans can uh, swim from from Cuba to Florida to find their happiness, you can. I just fucked it up now because now (laughs) I got blisters. Nah, because now I got blisters on my fucking feet from walking, and I'm not happy no more. (laughs) No, you're happy because you you met people on the way. You know me too well. Shut the fuck up. (laughs) Because you know I would would be I would I would say some shit like that because because I look at the glass and I felt full. Yeah. Exactly. I'm just. So be, a, I'm saying the general person, not just Joe, because Joe's very strange. Nah, we, we <laughs> here for Joe. We ain't here for no. Nah, general nah. I'm saying person. like the other person, not just not me. I'm saying about me. I'm just saying in general. You know, like if I don't know what the fuck I mean. What are you shining out this week, Zane? Uh, let me see. Oh, I, I watched the. Um, Oh, oh I'm gonna shout out. I'm gonna shout out Megan. Not you shut uh, up. The soundbite you shut up. <laughs> yeah, what's it called? I, I, I'm shouting out Megan for her, for her business, Libelula. Uh, she's doing a great job with her Instagram, and we we had a wonderful. There was a wonderful party that she had on Saturday. She invited me and my girlfriend. We had a lovely time, and it, and she's such a positive person, and and the people that she has around her are also dope too. So I just want to give her a really healthy shout out and to keep on doing it. Wow. Oh, good shit, good shit. We got some claps for her. I actually was really upset that I did not go to that. You would have had such a wonderful time, Joe. Edit, if edit, 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 edit. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Let's leave a, a moment of silence. <laughs> oh, you know. I thought you said you wanted to get personal, Joe. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm with it. Y'all know I'm with it. I barely ever edit. Fuck what that. Happened? I keep that shit. What happened? What happened to not caring about uh oversharing <laughs> shit on social media? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck y'all. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh Where's my, my suspenseful sound by now? No, you can't you can't put me and Zane on the fucking pod together. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I'm definitely gonna be there next week though. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, it's a promise. I said you're, a promise. You're hurt, you hurt, you're hurt, you're hurt, man. You're hurt. Right, nah, yeah. Uh I comments promise. comment down below. Uh we got a betting pool. Will Zane make it or not? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't make it. I'm curious to see how much money is. I'm going to steal your fucking puppet and I'm going to bring him. All right. Pu- oh, we got to bring him out. We yeah. Gotta him. I got to make him some new eyebrows. <laughs> you got to make him some eyebrows? Yeah, I got to make him some new eyebrows. <laughs> but anyway. Actually, Christian's going to be puppeteering and then he's going to be mm. kind of doing that like as I'm voicing it. And it's going to be me. So anytime I talk, it's just going to be. That act- with the that, see, that actually would be perfect. We got to have to talk about a uh, um Money. <laughs> yeah, at that point, that, you know? yeah, at that point. Yeah, see all this money conversation. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's actually dollars for that. All right, oh but uh, no, nah, on, on some real shit though. I actually, I really wanted to go. You know what's crazy though? I really did. I like, have like a moment of like serious growth that night because old Joe would have went, and I did not want to go for the simple fact I was extremely beat. Like yo, I had a long ass day. I woke up dumb early, right. And I had to go do the music video for Fernando. And then I was like, it, it just was, it was just work. It was on the, um, on the sand. And then I had to go meet up with somebody else. I had to do them a favor. My dad had to hit me up. I did something for him. And then I came back and I was just beat. And I don't really get beat like that. Like, it's very rare for me to get to that point. And I was like, no. So I had to just make the executive decision. And I felt bad too. Cause Zane asked me for a favor and I probably maybe well, I wouldn't have done the I wouldn't have been able to do the first half of that, but I would have been able to do the second half because I didn't go. Like not the whole full day, but at least the second half of the day. And I felt bad, right. but I said, you know what? Not, nah, but I felt bad though. 
And I was like, but guess what? I had to make the executive decision. Because I was, I was beat, man. I was surprised. I thought you said you were going. I, really, I was. I was going. <laughs> until until I got really, really beat. And I said, nah, not even a bang will fix this. <laughs> oh, God. The energy drink. Not that kind of bang, guys. See, see you did that to yourself. You did. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, other than that, I think that that, that is it, yo. It's been a very, very fun episode. We, um... Anything else? You got anything else to say for the people before we go? Shout out to my dog, Ace. Yeah, shout out to Ace. Shout out to Ace. Let's give it one time. Yeah, he's, he's getting much better in terms of, you know, not being a wild a wild one. Yeah, I have not seen this dog wild yet. He's been saying what? that. What? He's been saying that. I haven't seen him wild yet. Cool, smooth-ass dog. You know why? It's because when I show up, and then like the Undertaker, he's just like, "Oh shit, let me calm the fuck." <laughs> Anytime I'm around him, he's like the chillest dog in the world. <laughs> and Zane be looking at him like, "Nah, man, <laughs> nah." It's like he's a pit bull or something. You. Yeah, don't let him fool don't you. Let him fool you. Don't let him fool you. But all right, y'all, we out of here. Another episode. What, what's what's Christian sound out? Join oh, oh yeah, we gotta get Christian on one, y'all. You, mm. We got. Oh yeah, we got the mic. Look at it. What, um, what you got? You know what? I, I, yeah, like like I said last time, I don't really watch stuff, but I did watch. Um, it don't have to be TV; it could be whatever. No, 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 but it's fine. Um, for those who are fans of like the old, old Mighty Ducks movies, um, Disney Plus had that uh Mighty Ducks: The Game Changers. Now it is a Disney Plus show. I think it's like ten episodes, and it, it it's paced a little weird, and it, it is like kids, but the nostalgia is there, and it's it, I'm I'm hyped for whenever they announce and do season two. I've been dying to watch it. I'm just not a TV guy, but I I just want to know one thing, and I think I know the answer. But I just want to know: Does Joshua Jackson pull up? Which one's that one? Charlie, the main guy. Okay, so is he ever in any of the episodes? There's talk about him coming to the next one. I don't want to spoil anything, but like there there are some players that that come back for an episode, and it's really nice how they did it. So I want I want to know if they bring back the guy who's had like a really rough life, like he's. He's in it, mm-hmm. and he, the, and the cowboy and um, the two that were like always together. I forget their names. Connie Conway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was like like my childhood movie. Yeah, like I love, like that I show. love those movies, man. I really wanted. To, I, I've been wanting to see it. I just have a hard time committing to you know. Like, Yo, when it comes like to like sports stuff, shows. when it's like movies and shows, like there is a like. Sad shit might not make me cry, but yo, Coach Carter, remember Titans, oh, yeah. Mighty Ducks, yo, that that bring a tear to my. Eyes. Oh hell yeah! Nah, if you if you don't cry on Coach Carter, yo, <laughs> during his fucking speech and the note, get the I mean, mm-hmm. it, nah, get the fuck out of here. I fucking that's the first time I ever learned the word inadequate. <laughs> but all right, y'all, I'm being serious. All right, guys, we out of here. Therapy Adios. without a degree, therapy without Peace. Zane. That's what I'm gonna start calling it. The herpes you had out saying that's not how start a whole movement. <laughs> no, all right, it's not gonna start a movement. I'm gonna go to guys kidnap your ass. <laughs> That's his name of this episode, Therapy Without Zane. Money Without Zane. Happiness Monday Without, without Zane. Zane. Something Without Zane. <laughs> all right, y'all. Peace. Peace. Peace.